and and my name is Margot Pelletier. This is your first uh, feature film that you've directed, right? Yes, it is. Why, uh, what attracted you to this project? Um, well, I'm one of the co-writers. It's also written by uh, Laura Kelbert. And um, I'm very interested in the whole idea of gender and how our society deals with gender and how people that maybe wander from some of the expected gender categories are persecuted. And Scott Townsend really is a, a perfect, um, his life embodies a lot of very important lessons and, and joyful moments uh, in terms of a person that is very willing to live a life with a fluid gender. And producing this movie, it's a period piece. It goes from the 70s all the way to present day. Uh, and as a producer, what was that like to try to pull all of these different uh, people and costumes and places together? Yeah, well, it's definitely challenging, uh, especially when you're you know, doing a low-budget indie uh, film project. Um, and anytime you have a period film where you're spanning four decades, it's a lot to deal with, especially costumes, uh, locations, and things like that. You have to really consider uh, you know, the, uh, the props and everything. And um, we have an excellent team of uh, crew and you know staff that's working with us, and uh, it's been it's been really amazing. Um, and I'd say that it's pretty equally uh, shared in terms of the different decades. We start the film in the '70s and we go up to pretty much present day. And it's a musical too, right? Yes, that's correct. It's a musical. Yep. So you just decided to basically pile every problem onto yourself at one time. Yeah, I mean, we don't have dogs, but we have kids, we have music, we have period stuff, and uh, we're self-financing, so it's, it's crazy, but yes, yes. We did have dogs, but we cut the Yeah, dogs. we actually cut the dogs, just yeah. to give ourselves one less problem. We really had no choice, because when you're, you're following Scott Townsend's life, he is a, a performer. He actually has been singing since the age of seven with his Uncle Gene. And, um, you know, and like I say, his lifestyle embodies all of these important issues that surround gender that we find are really timely today, too. Could you compare Thirsty to, like, uh, you know, any other film or, you know, in style that you were trying to sort of emulate in it? Well, we always say that it sort of follows in the vein of Hedwig and the Angry Inch. It's definitely different than that, but um, we feel that it definitely follows in that tradition. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, ladies. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Great. Appreciate it. <laughs>